There is an incredible variety of colors in birds, from brilliant reds to glossy purples, and from bright whites to deep blacks. Let's take a tour through the whole rainbow of birds. This video is brought to you by the Rainbow of Birds ebook. More on that later. It's amazing to see a bright flash of red against the green of a leafy tree. Red feathers are poor camouflage, but they offer birds a chance to stand out for their courtship or territorial displays. There is a theory that the bright reds of social birds, like parrots, help the flock keep together. But whatever the reason, we can appreciate these bold red birds. There are different shades of pink feathers, but almost all pink pigments come from plant sources. Sometimes pink birds eat plants directly, but it's more common to eat bugs or shrimp that contain nutrients from plants. Then, as each feather grows, the bird puts in some beautiful pink pigment. Orange feathers have two main ways to appear orange. There are plant-derived pigments that make vivid orange, but the bird has to get them from its diet. Or there are melanin-based oranges, which are less intense but can be made anytime but both make it possible to appreciate orange birds. Yellow is a flashy color. These birds are not trying to hide. They're trying to be seen, probably by other members of their species, for courtship or for defending territory. Yellow is also a happy color, because seeing a bright yellow bird is sure to make our days a little more cheerful. Green is an amazing camouflage color. Green birds almost disappear when they fly up into green leaves so it's no surprise that many, many birds are green. What may be a surprise is that almost no bird produces green pigment. Almost every green feather is a structurally colored blue feather with a layer of yellow pigment on top. So clever! Every single blue feather in the world appears blue due to its shape. No exceptions. In many birds, there is a thin layer of air bubbles in the protein surface of the feather, the bubbles are just the right distance apart to bounce out blue light. But the feather itself is either dark gray or clear. In birds that have shiny blue feathers, it's because of thin, transparent films. But there is no such thing as a blue pigment in birds. Purple is surprisingly rare in birds and is usually found in small patches of purple feathers. But it's still such an eye-catching color to see. It's important to remember that most birds can see ultraviolet, so there may be some beautiful, deep, deep purple birds that our eyes can't detect. Black is a fairly common color in birds. Excellent for camouflage and matching every other color of feathers. It looks dull in diffuse light, but in the right angle, black feathers can show off the amazing detail of individual feather shapes and it also allows us to appreciate the wildly different forms that bird bodies have. Gray and black both come from melanin. Lots of melanin makes a black feather, and less melanin makes all the varieties of gray. The steps to produce melanin are common in animals, but a single mutation can shut it down and stop melanin production entirely. So anytime you see a gray or black bird, it's one mutation away from being the same shape and size but with pure white feathers. Brown is the best camouflage color for almost every situation. It blends with dirt, mud, rocks, bark, and branches. It's used by predators and prey alike because not being seen is almost always good. Not surprisingly, it's probably the most common bird color in the world. So there are lots of interesting birds to choose from. It's not common knowledge, but white is a structural color based on the shape of the feather. The clear keratin proteins of the feather include air channels that bounce out all types of light equally. If a white feather is soaked in a liquid of just the right properties, the liquid will fill in all those channels and turn the white feather clear. It's not very common for a bird to be all one color. Most birds have patches of different hues and brightness. But some birds take this to the extreme and are covered in patches of vibrant, striking color. So let's conclude with the birds that bring the whole rainbow into one beautiful bird display.
If you appreciate these beautiful birds, you're gonna love the book Rainbow of Birds, which I put together to accompany this video. It's got species names, facts, and beautiful photographs of 70 different colorful birds from around the world. Go to biobush.tv rainbow, or click the link in the description to learn more. Thanks for taking the time to learn about the rainbow of birds. You can watch a whole diversity of bird videos on this channel, and you can subscribe to know when a new video appears. Thanks for stopping by this week to learn what makes life awesome.